Hello everyone, this is Joachim from Sabaton and we're here at Bloodstock Open Air. Heavy metal festival, it seems like we got the only day when it's not raining on this island. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it because last time we were here was two years ago. We had such an amount of technical difficulties that I don't even want to talk about it. But today is our big comeback and uh, hope it won't start raining. <laughs> We are five guys in camo pants, which sounds like the village people, but no, not really. <laughs> uh, but heavy metal band, we sing about historical battles and uh, instead of singing like, you know, killing the dragon, drinking beer like most bands do. Nothing wrong with that, but we think there are too many fantastic stories in our past, so why make up new ones, really? And uh, it's a bit of a paradox since we're singing about military history that we're smiling so much, but it's fun to play heavy metal. It's kind of funny sometimes because maybe I'd end up reading about the Battle of Stalingrad by Anthony Beaver, you know, that big of a book for a song, and I don't get a feel to use any of it. But then, just over the internet, I come across a five page, page translation of a Russian soldier's diary, and that turned into the, to most of the lyrics in that song. On the other hand, I don't think I could have done it correctly without having read that book first. So there is a quite a lot of research going on. I would say we kind of uh, look at what kind of stories we want to tell. Those we really want to tell and find interesting, that's when we actually zoom in. So I wouldn't say we're history professors in any way. There are people who are much better at this than us, but we do make every effort possible to make sure that the facts we put in our songs are correct. The stories are going to be the same and the biggest emotional output there is actually in the studio. Uh, staying sane on tour, that's more about avoiding one of our guitar players who has, doesn't have a sense of smell actually. <laughs> no, but it's... Uh, I don't see it as a... I mean, I mean, I can have that emotional input, feel sad or depending on the song's mood, you know, pride, all these emotions, but the one thing is I just feel happy to be retelling this story. We didn't make that up ourselves. And if we, I mean, the main point is for us, at least, to have fun ourselves and that the crowd who came to the show has a lot of fun. If somebody found out something they didn't know before and reads a book and thinks, cool, well, that's a good bonus, isn't it?